What's up guys? It's Monday. Uh, it's Sunday right now though. And today I worked on some hot for food stuff, but I didn't know what I was gonna post for my vlog. So I put it out on Instagram and asked y'all what you wanted. There was a lot of um, requests for a recipe video, but of course I only do that on hot for food, not on this channel. So go to youtube.com slash hot for food blog to watch more recipes and recipes uh, from us at hot for food. But the thing that most of you want to see was a kitchen slash fridge slash pantry tour. So that's what I'm going to do just for you by request. So you've seen the kitchen. I mean, this is the kitchen. It's obviously much bigger. It's nice. Here is where I've been storing all of my food props. So I had this island at my old condo, it's just from Ikea, but it's become a nice storage spot for like all my dishes and random things that I need for photography and stuff and for videos. Random jars and tools and whatnot. And then I've been taking photos here facing this way and they look pretty good. Got some cookbooks down here. These aren't all my cookbooks, but these are some of them. Let's start in this drawer. This is a fun drawer. Got pots and pans and things like that. And then a secret drawer for spices. So yeah, got all the spices. I don't know what to tell you. That old bay though, you need that. More pots down here. And then we've got our little flat top, which we actually used this today in a video. It was very handy. And the oven has in it vegan cinnamon buns that I made for hot for food yesterday. Coming soon. Dishwasher, utensils, what a mess. Every utensil. You need to get one of these. It's a rasp or a microplane and it zests and it grates ginger and chocolate and all kinds of things. It's very handy. Every tool needs to be equipped. You need good knives. We got lots of good knives over here. Bananas. The sink is pretty awesome. Looks 30 inches deep or something crazy. No, it's not 30 inches deep, but it's like pretty deep. 18 inches deep. Display of things here. Okay, let's do this pantry. So these drawers are very handy. Here's all the dry goods, nuts and things. Oats, coconut, nutritional yeast, pumpkin seeds, raw cashews, raw sunflower seeds, everything, cacao powder, pecans, more coconut, different type of coconut. And the next drawer down has more stuff, mostly flowers and things, grains, uh, pasta, dried chickpeas, coconut flour, vanilla powder, which you see in a lot of our recipes, dried blueberry thingies, cranberries. This drawer's got baked baking things mostly. Sugars, egg replacer, organic popcorn, gotta have that. This is my deep fryer oil that I use until it gets too dirty coconut oil back here, tahini, baking powder, molasses, everything. And then up here we put in a Lazy Susan because it's like a corner cabinet. It's really hard to stay organized. So I'll show you that next. And what do we got? Chia, apple cider vinegar, basmati rice, canned beans, coconut milk, lentils, tomato paste, cat food. Some kind of cherry jam I got in a gift bag once. Salsa, oil, barbecue sauce, more oil here. That's just vegetable oil. Vegan Worcestershire sauce. That's a good one. Liquid smoke, ginger syrup, olive oil, agave, another type of oil from Vega, more almond milk. And then we've got up here, quinoa, panko breadcrumbs, lots of Vega products because we used to get those for free. Not anymore. That's all that's up there. And then the cupboard right beside it, I put like extra spices, bitters for making drinks, 
the coffee grinder, extra spices, dandy blend, coffee alternative, flour, lots of teas. I'm a bottle hoarder, so all the extra bottles and things, these are um, reusable coffee mugs, not camera lenses. John has a Mickey for some reason. Basically, as you can see, I'm like always fully stocked. I go to the grocery store all the time. I always try to have everything on hand so that I'm never like, oh, I can't make this. I mean, I have to kind of be that way because I do this for a living and I blog and stuff like that. Um, I have a video where I talk about my like spice, essential spices and essential ingredients, which I'll link right here. And yeah, I guess if you have any questions, just leave some comments below, but let's show you the fridge. All right, so the freezer is big, which is amazing. Leftover dough that I made, pizza dough, meatball, frozen strawberries, vodka, I think that's gravy, frozen bananas, vegetarian chicken breast, garden, leftover banana ice cream there, tortillas, English muffins, lots of cheesecakes because I need those for something, brown rice tortillas, ice packs, pretty full, it's always pretty full. Veggie parm, tamari, barbecue sauce, rice vinegar, barbecue, ketchup, mustard, all hot sauce, mustard, wine, ginger ale, herba mate, yerba mate, I don't know. All right, here's a half-eaten cheesecake from the video that we did yesterday. What else? Silk almond milk. Some lemon. This is hard to shoot, guys. Okay, yoso. Good coconut yogurt. Tomato sauce. Vegetarian oyster sauce. We got berries from the cheesecake. We got tofu, leftover food from Friday. Miso paste. Berries up in here. Got strawberries over here. Cat food. We got baba ganoush leftover. Uh, Cashew cheese, hemp hearts, soaked cashews, squirrely bread, lots of stuff. Peanut butter, jalapenos, for some reason I have an iced tea, soaking almonds, sauerkraut, coconut water. This is a hot sauce, peppers, jam, what else? Sauerkraut, artichoke hearts, sauces, leftover coconut milk. That's pretty much it. Here we've got onions, broccoli, parsley, steamed beets, lettuce, oranges, tomatoes, and lemon. And this drawer is pretty fun. Tofu, daya, cheese, tortillas, field roast sausage, all this stuff. Those chives are really old. They need to be thrown out. I don't know. There it is. So that's actually my second time shooting this because I shot it on my phone and it sounded like crap for some reason. There was like a clicking noise the whole time. So that's all the food in my house. Um, yeah, I didn't miss a drawer. So hopefully that's what you want to see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> remember there are more like full recipe videos on Hot For Food's YouTube channel and hotforfoodblog.com. And then I post what I ate in a day videos. Um, on Wednesdays. Not every Wednesday, but I'm trying to do more for you. And that's basically it for today. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys Wednesday for another vlog. Bye.